Hi everybody, on this episode I visit one of the most popular skiing region called Mannlichen, which is located on Jungfrau region of Swiss Alps in the Bern canton of Switzerland. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. The Manlihen is a 2,343 meter, 7,687 feet mountain in the Swiss Alps located within the canton of Bern. It's a popular viewpoint over the Lauterbrunnen Valley and the popular start location for hikers and skiers. Kleine Scheidek Malnihen is the largest ski resort in the Bernese Oberland and in the Jungfrau region. You can reach the Malnihen from Grindelwald Terminal with the Gondola Cableway and from Wengen by Aerial Cableway. From Lauterbrunnen you can take a train to Wengen then large cable car brings you up to Manlihen. From Kleine Scheidek you can walk to Manlihen. Manlihen offers a wide range of exciting experiences all year round. In winter you can turn on carefully groomed slopes against an impressive backdrop of the Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau peaks. From spring to autumn explore the wild and romantic mountain landscape on foot and hike along adventure trails through beautiful countryside. In the early 20th century, British tourists started ski clubs in the area and the destination became more popular. Since it first opened in 1954, the Wengen Manlihen Aerial Cableway has carried locals and visitors from all over the world year in, year out. Grindelwald to Manlihen was the world's longest aerial gondola opened in 1978 and has since transported countless locals and visitors. Once you get off the cable car or gondola, you will have stunning views of the Jungfrau region including the famous Eger, Mönch and Jungfrau. You will also look down to the valleys of Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald and the area surrounding Interlaken. The mountain guest house has several restaurants, a large terrace and hotel rooms with a kids playground. Manlihen is the starting point for several easy and longer trails. You can take a 25 minute hike up to the actual summit of the Manlihen for even wider waves. This is the Royal Walk. Most famous is the popular panoramic hike from Manien to Kleine Scheidek with continuous waves of the Bernese Alps. Skiing, snowboarding and sledging are popular too. There is even a children's ski school. There are brunchs on Sundays and evening barbecues on several fixed dates. There are mountain bike trails and paragliding flights as well. The Intersport Rent Network has a sports shop in Manlihen. It's possible to pre-book the equipment from home. The sports shop offers summer and winter equipment for rent or sale. The Mountain Guest House has 5 different venues with a total capacity of 950 seats. Your hosts Daniela and Ruedi Stalder Kaufmann pull out all the stops to provide a culinary experience that lives up to the stunning scenery. I think great whips should always be accompanied by great food. The guest house Manlichen offers a total of 11 rooms. They are comfortable non-smoking rooms offer an amazing view all over the mountains. 
Rooms are equipped with towels, shower gel, and hair dryer. Manihen guest house range average of 220 euro per night per room. You can expect to pay around 20 euro for a meal at a budget selections and up to 70 euro for a free course menu. Equipment rentals for skiing and snowboarding are around 40-60 euro for adults. The ski season runs from about December to April but the best months to ski are January, February and March. On good years there is excellent snowfall in the late season and you can keep skiing till end of April especially on the north facing slopes down from Malnihen. It's best to check the snow forecast if skiing this late in the year. Whether you do or not skiing, Malnihen offers a wide range of exciting experiences all year round. You can explore the wild and romantic mountain landscape on foot and hike along adventure trails through beautiful countryside. It's one of the worth visiting locations around Jungfrau region in Switzerland. Interlaken is a traditional resort town which is built on a narrow stretch of valley between the emerald colored waters of Thun and Brienz lakes. The Scheinige Platte is a small mountain ridge and a viewpoint in the Bernese Highlands which has a picturesque terrains and has lots of trails leading to the various spots. Thun is one of the most original towns in Switzerland with its picturesque castle and quaint medieval center is well worth a visit. Bern is a medieval city that features fountains, cobble streets, unique monuments and a well-preserved old town that has since been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lauterbrunnen Valley is one of the most popular destinations in Switzerland, boosting glacial waterfalls, hiking trails, ski slopes, dramatic cliffs, and quiet villages. Grindelwald, a village in Switzerland's Bernese Alps, is a popular gateway for the Jungfrau region with skiing in the winter and hiking in summer. Adelboden is a lovely little village which is known for the Adelboden Lang Ski Resort, which managed to attract countless skiers and snowboarders to the region. Kandersteg is a famous Swiss village with its hiking trails and skiing resorts which is nestled in the Seinig Valley in the Swiss Alps and located very close to Blausi and Ostinensi lakes. Iseltwald is a small fishing village that is situated on the edge of the Lake Brienz and famous photo spot with its picturesque castle inside the lake. Wengen is the quintessential alpine town boasting wooden chalets, modest whitewashed churches and Belle Epoque hotels surrounded by mountain pines. Lungern is a village and a popular photo spot with its picturesque turquoise-colored natural lake and green landscape. The Harder Kulm is a viewpoint at 1322 meters which offers a spectacular panorama and sights with its famous restaurant at the top. Oberhofen is a popular touristic village on the shores of Lake Thun with its picturesque Oberhofen castle. Kleine Scheidegg is one of the most famous mountain passes in the Swiss Alps, both for its impressive views and ski resorts. Nestled between hills and vineyards and dominated by a magnificent castle, Spies on Lake Thun is an inviting destination indeed. Jungfraujoch is the highest accessible point in Europe up to a staggering 3454 meter high thanks to its Centennial Railway which was inaugurated in 1912.
If you like my manly and sweet Zealand video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!